Hey, everyone, are you ready to dive into the fascinating world of marine construction? We all know that building structures in just about any environment comes with its own set of challenges. But have you ever thought about what makes marine construction truly unique? It's not just about battling the elements. There is a whole other world beneath the surface that plays a critical role in the decision-making process for engineers and builders. In this video, we will explore one of the most fundamental, concrete versus steel. Both materials are incredibly strong and durable, but they have different properties that make them better suited for certain applications. So whether you're an engineer, a student, or just someone who loves learning about how things are built, grab your hard hat and safety glasses and get ready to explore the underwater world of marine construction with us. Concrete, the rugged choice when it comes to marine construction, concrete, is the undisputed champion when it comes to resisting the harsh effects of salt water. That's because concrete is highly resistant to corrosion, which is the gradual deterioration of a material due to chemical reactions with its environment. In the case of salt water, the high levels of salt and other minerals can cause metals to rust and degrade over time. But concrete is not a metal, so it doesn't suffer from the same issues. Instead, concrete is a mixture of cement aggregates and water that when properly mixed and cured, creates a strong and durable material that can withstand the constant exposure to salt water without significant degradation. This property makes concrete an ideal material for building marine structures such as breakwaters, docks and offshore platforms that are constantly in contact with seawater. Breakwaters are structures built in coastal areas to protect harbors and beaches from the damaging effects of waves and currents. They're typically massive structures that need to withstand the full force of the ocean, and concrete is more than up to the task. In fact, many of the world's most famous breakwaters are made of concrete, such as the West Bank Imperial Beach in San Diego and the Marina Barrage in Singapore. Concrete's durability in marine environments is also due to its high compressive strength, which is its ability to withstand forces that are pushing or pulling it apart. Concrete is particularly good at handling compressive stress, which is why it's often used in buildings and bridges. However, concrete is not very good at handling tensile stress, which is the opposite of compressive stress. Tensile stress can cause concrete to crack and break, and that's not good for a structure that's constantly being pounded by waves and currents. That's why reinforced concrete is often used for marine structures. Reinforced concrete is concrete that has been strengthened with the addition of steel bars or mesh. The steel provides the necessary tensile strength to keep the concrete from cracking and breaking under the extreme conditions of the ocean. This combination of materials creates a structure that's both strong and durable. Steel. A flexible contender now Let's turn our attention to steel, a material that's been used for centuries to build everything from bridges to skyscrapers. Steel is a versatile material that can be shaped into almost any form and is incredibly strong. It's also highly flexible, which means it can bend and flex without breaking, making it ideal for structures that need to withstand dynamic loads such as those found in marine environments. The flexibility of steel is particularly useful in situations where the ground beneath it may be unstable or shifting, such as in areas with soft soil or frequent earthquakes. In these cases, a steel structure can move and shift with the ground, reducing the risk of damage to the structure itself. Additionally, steel is also highly resistant to compression, meaning it can withstand a lot of weight bearing down on it, making it ideal for use in foundations and other structural support systems. However, Steel's biggest weakness is its susceptibility to corrosion. When exposed to salt water, steel can rust and degrade relatively quickly, which can compromise the structural integrity of a building or other structure. To combat this, steel used in marine construction is often galvanized, meaning it's coated with a layer of zinc to protect it from rust formation. This is particularly important for structures like bridges and offshore platforms that are constantly exposed to the elements. Another option for protecting steel from corrosion is to use a specialized coating such as paint or plastic. These coatings can help to prevent the transfer of electrons from iron to oxygen, which is the first step in the rust formation process. Despite its susceptibility to corrosion, steel remains a popular choice for marine construction projects, particularly for structures like bridges, ship hulls and offshore platforms. With proper protection, steel can last for many years in a marine environment. Comparing the titans, strengths and weaknesses both concrete 
and steel have their own unique set of strengths and weaknesses. Concrete is a more economical option for large structures such as breakwaters and offshore platforms, while steel is more suitable for smaller structures like bridges and ship hulls. Concrete is highly resistant to corrosion from salt water, making it ideal for structures that are constantly exposed to the ocean. However, it's not as strong in tension as it is in compression, so it often needs to be reinforced with steel bars or mesh. Steel is a more flexible material that can withstand dynamic loads, making it ideal for areas with unstable or shifting ground. But it's susceptible to corrosion from salt water, which can compromise its structural integrity. Which material is ultimately used for a particular project depends on a variety of factors, including the specific requirements of the structure, the budget and the expertise of the construction team. Conclusion Choosing the right tool for the job In the field of marine construction, choosing between concrete and steel is like choosing between a hammer and a screwdriver. They're both incredibly useful tools, but you wouldn't use either one for every job. Similarly, Concrete and steel each have their own unique properties that make them better suited for certain types of marine structures. Concrete is the heavyweight champion of marine construction, offering incredible durability and resistance to the harsh effects of salt water. Its high compressive strength makes it ideal for large structures like breakwaters and offshore platforms that need to withstand the constant pounding of the ocean. While its flexibility might not be as dynamic as steel, its resistance to corrosion is unmatched. On the other hand, steel is the agile contender, offering flexibility and adaptability that concrete simply can't match. Its ability to bend and flex without breaking makes it perfect for structures like bridges and ship hulls that need to withstand the unpredictable forces of the marine environment. While steel might not be as resistant to corrosion as concrete, it can still be protected with proper galvanization or coating, ensuring its longevity in a marine setting. Ultimately, the decision of which material to use comes down to the specific needs of the project. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of both concrete and steel engineers and builders can choose the right tool for the job, ensuring the creation of safe and durable structures that can withstand the test of time in one of the most challenging environments imaginable to see. What are your thoughts? Which material do you think is more suitable for specific marine structures? Let us know in the comments below and if you have any further questions or want to learn more about marine construction, feel free to ask away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos. Until next time.